So we breathe in that energy of how we love God and how God loves us. In uh, Keep a True Lent, Charles Fillmore, as those of us who have read this powerful work know, generates a, an affirmation for, for each day of Lent. Today's affirmation is, the spirit of him that raised up Jesus dwells in me, and I am made perfect. The spirit of him that raised up Jesus dwells in me, and I am made perfect. On this Palm Sunday, we come, become aware of our own journey into Jerusalem, riding a donkey, stepping on palm leaves, listening to the hosannas of the multitude. Of this Palm Sunday, Charles Fillmore notes that Jerusalem, the holy city, symbolizes within us the habitation of peace, possession of peace, vision of peace, abode of prosperity within us. In man, Jerusalem is the abiding consciousness of spiritual peace, which is the result of continuous realizations of spiritual power, tempered with spiritual poise and confidence. Jerusalem symbolizes the great nerve center just back of the heart, and from this point, spirit sends its radiance to all parts of the body. This Jerusalem, the habitation of peace and the abode of prosperity, Mr. Fillmore asserts, is always present deep in our consciousness. The great I am that Jesus inhabited is the great I am that each of us always also lives inside of. Let us open our awareness of this beautiful truth right now by moving our attention as Mr. Fillmore invites us to the great nerve center just back of the heart. So I invite us to move our attention to that great energy just behind the heart beating in our chests. Let us breathe into that nerve center and feel the peace that pulses true with every beat of our heart and radiates outward to the very edges of our awareness. And as we feel that energy, we affirm the spirit of him that raised up Jesus dwells in me and I am made perfect. As humans, as embodied beings, we require the assurance of the unwavering energy of this internal nerve center, for like Jesus, we must be willing to undertake the difficult journey of renunciation, of belief in our separate self, that contrary to the evidence of our eyes, leads to resurrection into the felt sense, the felt sense of the eternal I am that we each of us are and have always been. Like Jesus in the garden, we too experience our beautifully human desire to run away from the excruciating challenge of death. This, as Mr. Fillmore reminds us, is merely the result of the deeply rooted error thoughts stored away in the subconscious. These thoughts are where the presumption of separateness abides. But the entire journey that we enter into on this Palm Sunday is one of permanent transformation. Mr. Fillmore says, the Christ itself may be held in obscurity for a while, but it cannot be done away with. That which died on the cross when Jesus was crucified was the personality. The Christ resurrects itself from the very depths of the subconsciousness. An error is hanged on the gallows, it prepared for doing away, for the doing away of the newborn spiritual ego. We have nothing to fear in the darkness of death, in the darkness of the depth, in the darkness of the nerve center beating behind our hearts. 
for there abides the Jerusalem, the peace, the truth of who we are. So keeping our attention on this nerve center, let us take into the silence the truth of the great promise of the Easter season. The spirit of him that raised up Jesus dwells in me, and I am made perfect. Divine Presence, we thank you that all those years ago on this day, you showed us the way. You entered into Jerusalem. You listened to the hazanas of the multitude. You went through the doubt and fear in the garden. You accepted the will of God for yourself. You subjected yourself to crucifixion and death. You were willing to dwell in the darkness where the human part of you knew nothing, had no idea what to do. You surrendered yourself to the great I am. All of this to show us how to resurrect into the truth of who we are, who we always were and always will be. Thank you, God, for showing us the way. Amen.